வணக்கம் மே ஹைதர் அலி சையத் அசிவகம்சே யுனைடெட் அண்ட் தமிழ் சேவா ஆர் தி செல்ஃப் ப்ரோக்ளைம்ட் முஸ்லிம்ஸ் ரிசைட்டிங் தி ராங் காலிமா ஷஹாத ஆர் டெக்லரேஷன் ஆஃப் இஸ்லாம் ஆர் தி அரோகன்ட் ஸ்டிஃப் நெக்ஸ் லைக் லூசிஃபர் ஹவ் இஸ் குர்ஆன் சாப்டர் 3 வெர்ஸ் 18 தி காலிமா ஷஹாத ஆர் டெக்லரேஷன் ஆஃப் இஸ்லாம் as i told you kalima shahada or declaration of islam is sivam sivan god is the one and only and his representative on earth whom god has appointed maintains balance on earth with justice among god's creation assisted by angels i quote quran chapter 3 verse 18 allah witnesses that there is no deity except him and the angels and those of knowledge maintain balance among his creation in justice there is no deity except him the exalted in might the wise the verses understanding is that god is one and angels assist the keeper of balance among the creation of god on earth in justice this is the message from quran chapter 3 verse 18 since the quran is the last reminder and a furqan It confirms previous scriptures and revelations. Refer to Quran chapter 3 verse 3. In Kumri people's tradition, their Kalima Shahada or declaration is Sivam Sivan. Sivam in Tamil means God omnipotent and Sivan means God representative on earth. Bhagavad Gita reminds us of that successive authority who comes when there is a decline in truth to re-establish the truth. Dharam Sangam Yada yada dharmasya Yani bhavati bharata Abhyukta nama dharmasya dharmasya Tadatmanam sicham yaham Bhagavad Gita chapter 4 sloka 7 to 8 whenever and wherever there is a decline in truth dharam sangam practice o descendant of bharat descendants of sivan the pandian and a predominant rise of irreligion at that time i myself appear by activation of the third eye bhagavad gita chapter 4 verse 7 to deliver the pious and to annihilate the miscreants as well as to reestablish the principles of dharam and sangam i myself appear millennium after millennium bhagavad gita chapter 4 verse 8 welcome to the world of sivam and sivan in quran chapter 2 verse 30 prior to the creation of adam god prophesied about his successive authority on earth When Lucifer disobeyed God later God gave Lucifer the boon to become the dark lord Kali Purusha Lucifer accepts that he would have no authority over God's appointed wise current succession authority whom God has given authority on the earth further God said that whoever follows the path given to the appointed servant that path leads straight to God refer to Quran chapter 15 verses 36 to 42 Quran chapter 15 verse 38 confirms the Kumri people's tradition about the day when Lucifer Kali Purusha is going to die Quran chapter 3 verses 33 to 34 confirm that among the family of Abraham and the family of Imran some of them are descendants of the appointed servant whom God has given authority over the earth Remember Without the genetic code one cannot get enough information 
Pandian princess married descendants of Noah and Amun the family of Abraham and the family of Imran. That's why Quran chapter 334 says, I quote, A people are like in the seed of one another. Allah is all hearing, all knowing. If Islam was started by Prophet Muhammad, then you can recite the Kalima Shahada or declaration of Prophet Muhammad. I am asking you, did Prophet Muhammad start Islam? What is the duty of messengers? And what do the scriptures in Revelation remind us of? Quran, Chapter 2, Verse 213 clearly says that messengers were sent to remind people of the straight path that was given to the appointed servant. Scripture is sent so one can solve the differences between the people of the book, in other words, the people of the first Siddha. Remember, in the senior generation, God has taken testimony with each individual from the descendants of the children of Adam. Refer to Quran 7 verse 172. Quran, chapter 3, verse 144. Clearly says Prophet Muhammad is a messenger like many messengers who came before him. Remember, the duty of messengers is to remind mankind of the Kalima Shahada, or declaration of Islam. Even if the Prophet Muhammad dies or gets slain, it does not affect the Kalima Shahada, or declaration of Islam. I quote Quran chapter 3, verse 144. Muhammad is not but a messenger. Other, messengers have passed on before him. So if he were to die or be killed, would you turn back on your heels, to unbelief? And he who turns back on his heels will never harm Allah at all. But Allah will reward the grateful. Correct your Kalima Shahada, or declaration, and be a part of Islam. Welcome back to the world of Sivam Sivan. Welcome. Thank you.